Lately, there's been some issues getting meals out to our senior citizens. On Monday, the Fiscal Court and Big Sandy Area Development District came together in order to try to figure out how to fix this. They already have a pretty good start. The Big Sandy Area Development District gave three new vehicles to the Pike County Fiscal Court today, something they'd been badly needing for a while now. Our elderly are considered our most fragile and in-need residents, not only countywide but regionally as well. Big Sandy Area Development District Eric Ratliff says they're going to help the county any way they can. Ratliff says our aging population will continue to grow year after year and the region should at least offer one meal they can depend on. We have an aging population in Eastern Kentucky and it's, this is going to, meals are going to continue to increase, increase every year uh, as people are living longer and they're staying in the community. Um, so it's vital to a lot of those people that are homebound that they get at least one good hot meal a day. Journey into the extraordinary. Blast off from any of our three locations. Coal Run, Caney, or South Williamson. Hideaway, Novelty, Smoke, and Vape. The number of senior citizens serviced by this program yearly is more than you might think. And we deliver approximately 60,000 meals a year. So it doesn't take long to put a lot of miles on vehicles. And the vehicles we had uh, were purchased during a previous administration and they had um, over 100,000 miles on them then. So now they're up to 300,000. You know, if, if you need help, if you need a meal, if you can't, if you, you're not able to cook for yourself, you're not able to get out, call our community services office, call the judge's office. We'll make sure that you get food. We'll make sure that you're put on the list for the home meal delivery program. But we really encourage seniors to, to visit their local uh, senior citizen center. It's a great place to socialize. There's a lot of events. Judge Jones says that they will be adding more to the fleet as the months continue. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.